Let's get you back out to the site in LA where CBS sports writer Cameron Salerno is standing by. Cam, it's great to see you and to be with you, but I need a little bit of what was in that room because you just told me off camera. It's about 85-15 Arizona heavy as expected in the building. Give us a sense of the emotion from tip where it was shaky to the final moments where it all came to a close. I will say that it seemed like every single time Clemson, you know, went on a run, Arizona responded, and then, you know, Clemson responded right back. But like I said, it was probably 85, 15 Arizona fans in attendance. It was loud. They just were dying to get loud and get rowdy when Arizona went on a little run. And towards the end of the game, Clemson was scoreless for a, a pretty long time. I think mm -hmm. they missed seven straight shots from the floor. And it just seemed like Clemson was able to, you know, at the very end, pull away. And those two and ones were electric. Even though it was a pro Arizona crowd, I would still say, the building went absolutely nuts when both those and ones uh, happened. Huge moments in the latter portions of this game by the Hunter brothers. And it's an Arizona season that comes to a close as many before have, falling to a seed with plenty of space between the two. Expectation for this Arizona team was that coming out of this region, it might be the most palatable route to a Final Four. It comes to an end in ways that we've seen before. In your estimation, because I want to be celebratory about Clemson here, but a thought more here on Arizona. Just where was the lack of execution on this night in your eyes? Well, Arizona loves to push the pace, and they're a very high-scoring team. And so Clemson was able to really limit them. And, you know, part of that was Clemson honestly just making shots. I mean, if, if you're missing shots, you're able to run in transition. And Arizona is a very high-powered offense. And they're the number three scoring offense in the entire country. And so for Clemson to limit them to 72 points, you know, maybe seem like a lot, but that's one of the lowest of the whole year for Arizona. Ironically, I think the lowest of the season came against USC at USC, and that was the only other time I saw Arizona this season. Just to add to your point, I will say it is a disappointing season for Arizona because, you know, Final Four is pretty much in their own backyard. Yeah. It was about 130 miles from the Tucson campus. And ironically, the same thing happened to Houston last year. Houston fell in the Sweet 16, and the Final Four was in their backyard in Houston. And so just another subplot as well is this is pretty much the end of the road for the Pac-12. I mean, Utah is still in the NIT, but as far as NCAA tournament action and Pac-12 as a whole, this is it. Fantastic perspective from Cameron Salerno, who is there amongst it. Cam, we'll let you get back to the wood to take in all the action as the road ahead is either Bama or North Carolina for Clemson. Arizona season comes to a close. Cam, we appreciate you, pal. Thank you. Thank you. Taking a look here at top two seeds in three straight NCAA tournaments, Arizona failing to reach the elite.